Hey, Wesley Blong here. Day one, total success. 56 miles down the road. About an hour of rain. Uh, maybe an hour and a half. Put on my poncho, no problems. Rain suit, totally works. My neighbors gave me free firewood. So we got that going on. Cooking up a good old fire. I'm gonna make me some 15 bean soup, have me some coffee. Landed this perfect spot right on the lake. Check this spot out. It's just amazing view. Absolutely wonderful. Free campsite. A little bit of RV camping going on right next to the bathrooms. Look at that, sun's starting to set. It's gonna be a nice night. Got my campsite over there. Freaking perfect. Day two, just getting started. It's about 12 o'clock. Had a bunch of rain clouds, thought it might rain, so I waited around for a while to make sure it wasn't gonna do that. Now we got some blue sky, and I'm on my way. Didn't make it quite as far as day one, maybe 20 miles down the road, White Springs, Florida. Thought I was going to be able to make it to this campsite that I had pinned out on the map, but things didn't quite work that way. So here I am right off the highway, found this little abandoned trail. Going to go ahead and call it a night, get some rest, eat some food, wake up early in the morning, hit the road again. Hopefully I can find this campsite I have pinned out on the map. See you then. Wesley Blom, day three here. Maybe 25 miles down the road from where I started this morning. It's been mostly overcast since I left. It's kind of surprising, but it is what it is. Thankfully though, because 70 degrees is pretty warm when you're pedaling all day, you know. Trailer's a little heavy. I found the Florida Trail. Pretty excited about that. I might go down and see how far I can make it with the bicycle and trailer, but I'm definitely going to stop here and unload a bunch of stuff that I don't need. It's just too much, to be honest with you. Some of it I thought would be nice to have, but I suggest you only bring what you really need with you. Still day three on the Florida Trail found a fresh natural spring. I checked the weather, doesn't call for a sun, maybe three days from now, and it says it's gonna rain tomorrow. So, I'm gonna go ahead and change into some shorts, jump on in, see how I feel after that. It's been three days since I had a shower, so I'm looking forward to this. Should be nice. I felt the water, it's a little cool, but it's not gonna stop me. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Feel much better. Whew, I'm gonna go set up a campsite. Here we are entering the Florida Trail. Right on the Swanee River. Looks like a nice fire pit over there. I think I might stop here and cook me some dinner. Oh yeah, we got a winner, all right. Still day three. I decided to come back to the spot I found. After that dip in the water, I feel pretty refreshed. This is gonna be pretty good. And there's a sign with a tent that does not have a line drawn through it. That's always a good sign. It's about... 3.30, 4 o'clock, and I am... Alright, day four just caught up before 7 o'clock. Sky looks pretty bleak, but hey, I'm gonna make it work, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cook me up a fire, make me some coffee, I'm gonna hit the road. 8.30, got everything packed up, ready to go. Weather called for rain, but I see the sun peeking out, so. Extremely optimistic about today. Tallahassee is about 85 miles from here. I might even make it. Don't know though. That's pretty, uh, it's a pretty far trip, so we'll see if I make it that far. Just stopped at the Quickie Mart, about 35 miles away from Tallahassee. Actually ran into this really nice person named Kim. We hung out for the most of the day, rode with her, it was pretty cool. She was stopping there to go stay at a place she found on warm showers, sounded pretty cool. And the lady in the Quickie Mart made me a cup of coffee, bless her soul. 
And this dude was walking outside with a bunch of chips. I said, are you going to throw those away? He said, no. Would you like some? He said, yeah. He said, take what you want. So I got like six or seven packs of peanuts, four or five bags of chips. And I am on my way about eight miles to the next town. It's about 3.30 now. My butt's pretty sore, but my legs are still kicking, so I'm going to keep going. So far, I've been about 42 or 43 miles today, and I'm feeling great. As you can see, we got blue skies behind me, and everything's looking good. Uh, hey, everyone. Wesley Blom here. Okay, so this is day five. Day four was intense. Pedaled about 62 miles and it took me till I got here to this church parking lot before I felt it was a decent enough spot to fall asleep. So that was about 7.30 last night. I whoop, pulled up here and ate me some food and watched the office till 12 o'clock at night. I was pooped. It was dark outside and I could not go any further by the time I got here. But before that, I just was... <sighs> Pardon me. I was just not feeling it before that, so... Looking forward to day five. I'm gonna go get me some coffee at the gas station or something. And I think I found another spot to camp at for today, so... I think it's gonna be awesome. Day five update. Maybe a mile off SR-20, probably 15 miles outside Tallahassee, heading west still. Found this beautiful little spot. Um, it was just, I guess it's just a hiking and horseback riding trail, and it says there's camping around here. But, I haven't paid for any campsite yet, and I think I'm going to do that tonight. They have warm showers about four miles down the road, so I'm going to go ahead and hike back out of here. Go check that place out. I stopped at the grocery store, got a bunch of food. I even got me a steak to cook, so feeling really excited about that. Looking forward to it. I might even stay a second day there, seeing how it goes, but I am feeling like a break coming on. It's been five days. Made it from Jacksonville to Tallahassee so far, and I'm feeling great. So, like I said, I'm going to hike back out of here, go find me a campsite for the night. It's about 3 o'clock. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Day five. I feel freaking amazing, to be honest with you. Right on the lake, clean clothes, clean body. Making some coffee right now. About to cook me a steak, some grits, and have a salad along with it. Everything's going great, to be honest with you. This has just been amazing so far. Five days in, no problems at all. Not a lick. Everything I've needed or wanted has been on the route that I picked to go without having to go even a mile out of the way, so. I can't even tell you how cool this is. $10.75 to stay here tonight, totally worth it. Took one shower already, I'm gonna take another one before I go to bed. Take a third shower in the morning. There's a library right down the road. There's a uh, Dollar General. So I got all the groceries and all the electricity and all the water I need. There's water right here on the site. So I'm going to clean my clothes tonight, hang them up to dry. You know, there's a lot of things I think think about saying on the road, but this is just unscripted. Un well, I really hope you enjoy all this. Just amazing. Phenomenal. Absolutely great. Pretty sure the coffee is about ready, so cowboy coffee it is. Check you soon. Day six. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel completely spoiled right now. I must have ate two and a half pounds of food last night. Three showers later. I even brought my clothes in the shower and cleaned them all. Nice hot water and soap. Slept like a baby. A little chilly this morning, but it feels great. It's a nice change from that hot weather it's been lately. Oh man. I'm so tempted to just stay here another day. I think I might pay $10.75 to not have to pack up my bicycle and move today. So, day six. 
feeling good. Check out this view. See what I mean? <sighs> Things are going better than expected, although I had no expectations. What do I got to say? I'm still here in the same spot as I was yesterday at the pay site. $10.75 again, but you know what? Totally worth it. I've only paid $21.50 for lodging in an entire six days of bicycle tripping. Not everything goes quite as planned sometimes. Sometimes your spoons break, you know what I mean? And you got to fashion one out of an old peanut butter jar. But you know what? It worked. Not only did it work, but it worked great. I'm not sure what tomorrow has in store. Don't even know what I think I'm going to do. All I know is that God is good. And I feel great. That's all I know. And just, just check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, spend a few minutes to reflect on life, go take another shower, clean up my campsite, get ready for tomorrow. 10.44, day 7, heading on out. Day 7, officially made it through my first week of bicycle tripping. Pretty cool, right here on this little canoe launch, right off the highway. Probably. 40 miles down the road from where I left this morning at 10.44. Spoke with a guy when I first got here. Told me I'm not the first person to be here with a tent, so I'm assuming it's all right. Had no idea where I was gonna go when I left this morning, but I found the perfect spot. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, and I made it through my first time zone today. Big score, big score. Oh yeah. I'm on this little bridge. I just want to let you guys know, sidewalks is not where you throw your glass bottles, okay? This is not where you throw your empty beer bottles so the bicycle riders can get flat tires. It's just not where they go. Oh, speaking of, ah!